And we're back with Tell Me About It. And today we attended a networking seminar, and we're going to speak to the host of that seminar, Steve Eanes of Changing Matters. Hi, Steve. Hi, Benny. The seminar was great. You were talking about a go-giver, and I know go-getters and chargers. What's a go-giver? Well, Benny, as you know, a go-getter is someone that is tenacious, aggressive, gets the job done, really is someone that most companies would like as a salesperson. A go-giver is someone that has an extra layer added. Basically, they have shifted their focus from getting to giving, and they find that it's not only a great way to live, but also a very profitable way to live as well. You were also talking about five laws. Could you explain those? Right. As far as a go-giver is concerned, there are basically five laws that should be followed in order to really be a true go-giver. The first law is the law of value. The law of value is where you offer a lot more in value than you take in payment. The second law is the law of compensation. The law of compensation states that your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. The operative word being people, not a number, not a prospect, but ah, people. I see. The third law is the law of influence. And what that law states is that your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. Mm. So things don't create influence. Your influence creates them. Mm. And, of course, that's created by how other-focused you are. The fourth law is the law of authenticity. Be real. The only thing you have really to offer is yourself. So you need to be you, not someone else. And then the fifth law, which is the law that I find that most people have issues with as far as actually being able to live it, is the law of receptivity. And that law is making yourself open to receiving. Really? So most people feel like that I find that you can either be a giver or a receiver, but not both. But when you actually implement the first four laws and you're not close to receiving when things come your way, you're not emotionally attached to it coming from who you're serving into. It just happens, it seems. We call that the theory of left field. As long as you're not close to receiving when it starts coming your way, that's where you have levels of stratospheric success. Oh, that's great. That's great. Now, I believe you have a book that uh, details a little bit more about go-giver. Right. My business partner is a gentleman named Bob Berg, and Bob is the co-author of a book with John David Mann called The Go-Giver. And really, it's a book... I'd say fundamentally about business, morals, and ethics, how you conduct yourself. And the Go-Giver book is a story of a salesperson named Joe who is having a difficult time being other-focused. And so through the course of the book, he meets up with a mentor named Pindar, and Pindar basically teaches him the five laws. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Sounds really interesting. So, Steve, the viewers that are looking at the show today, how would they know, how would I know that somebody that we work with and that watches our show is a good fit for one of your seminars? Well, really, it's someone that's tired of keeping score. And what I mean by that is I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Somebody that's tired of that, mm -hmm. that's really being a, a creditor versus being a friend, a networking contact. And so what I do is every month I have some free workshops that I offer, which can be found on my website under the topic free stuff. And also, I offer Go-Giver Mastermind Groups and Mastermind Groups on other programs based on the Go-Giver philosophy. Not all that's found on my website. Okay, and that website is? It's www.changing-matters.com. Great. We'll have that up on the screen for the viewers to see written out. And we certainly appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you.